competing in May sport, exercise number two, the 10 to two. The 10 to two is one of the second events that you can compete in with May sport. There is a two-handed version and a one-handed version. What you are looking at here are two key elements. The mace must end up in the 10 o'clock position and the two o'clock position. As you get the mace up to the 10 o'clock position, you pull your hands down to the belly button position again, like in the mace 360, and then it goes back over for the two o'clock position. Going from 10 to the two position is one rep. Moving the mace to the 10 position is not a rep on its own and neither is it at the two o'clock position on its own. It must be both 10 and two to count as one rep. There are two-handed and one-handed versions here. One-handed version is exactly the same. It must go over to the 10 o'clock, swapping hands and over to the two o'clock position. Once you have made this exchange, that is one rep. Again, much like the 360, your technique points here are to toss it over the shoulder and to tug back over the shoulder. Instead of continuing around in a 360 pattern in the same direction, you are going to feed it back over the same shoulder that you have tugged over. Your hands must go behind the head and disappear. As well as when you tug back over the shoulder, your hands must end up down at the belly button position to be classified a proper rep. You must not come to rest on the shoulders throughout your set. If you place the mace on the ground, or on your shoulders, your set has finished. You must continually keep moving the mace throughout the five or 10 minute rounds that you are competing in. The same as the 360, it is dependent on your age, your body weight, and the weight of the mace moved as to what category you compete in. Being that it is a very inclusive sport, there are different categories that allow it to be fair for everyone, for those that are bigger and stronger and move more weight, comparatively to those that are smaller in body weight and may not be physically as strong or as advanced with the movements themselves. So this way everyone can compete on equal footing and not have to be penalized for their own body size or skill ability. Some things here to note as you are going through competing with mace sport. Remember to breathe and keep nice, calm breathing and a good rhythm throughout the entire set. Sprinting is good when you are at the very end of your set, coming towards your last minute to half a minute. But the big key element is to control your breathing and your adrenaline and to allow yourself to fall into a nice good rhythm as you are going through your set. Stay tall and upright. Do not flex through the hips forward and back. A, this will count for no rep because it does not show that you have control of the mace or your body throughout the movement. However, you can shift laterally through your feet from side to side as you can see through the video. There must also be fixation throughout your reps. There must be an end point that shows that you had control at the end and then control into the initiating part of each of the movements. If you allow the mace to just topple over into the next rep, you'll be penalized for no rep and will have to try and complete another one to make up for the rep that you did not get on your previous go. There is no point at all that you can rest throughout the 10 to two movement. The mace must keep moving the entire time. So it's important to learn where you relax your grip and where you grip the mace throughout each part of the movements. At the end of this mini course, we're going to give you some example workouts that you can do to help improve your skills and your physical abilities towards competing into mace sport. Mace sport is coming to Australia and the UT Academy is very proud to be the ones to initiate this to create the first competitions of their kind in Australia to run alongside the kettlebell sporting community and we will give you the ability to register your interest and we will keep you updated as this comes to confirmation within the next few weeks.